came to me. And she helped me. She prayed. She talked to me until the ambulance got there. And the ambulance came. She said, I don't know how you made it. I don't know how you how you doing this. You're so little. You, you, you got all these sad ones. Oh my God. I said, God. I said, God help me. Now can you give me some oxygen so I can breathe? <laughs> <laughs> He gave me that oxygen, but they started to lose me. I was barely breathing, and my lungs had collapsed. So they did all that they can do for me, and I'm here today. Because I walked by faith and not by sight. I thought it, it looked like I was going to die. I really thought that. I was going to die, but something in me, God put it in me, that he's going to be okay. The kids going to be okay. He did not touch my kids. Yeah. My kids was fine. I'm fine. I, I might have a little physical little thing going on, but I'm fine. And he has me here today trying to let you guys know to walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. And he told me to let you guys know. In James 1 and 6, it says, but when he asks it, he must believe and not doubt. Because he who doubts is like, is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed in the wind. If I would have doubted, if I would have listened to the devil, I probably would have died. He told me to run. He told me, hurry up. He's going to kill you, kid. Hurry up. Hurry up. Just hurry up. Just hurry up. But I walked by faith. I walked by what, what God was telling me to do. I chose God instead. You know, and I got that help, and I'm here today. And I hope you guys walk by faith and not by faith.